What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone. I'm gonna be honest, I'd probably sit here normally and just discuss the last episode, but I just want to get into it right now. I just want to thank you guys that keep coming back and watching me play this game. It's truly, truly been really fun. And um, I just hope that you guys are enjoying it. And if you are, and you want more, all you gotta do is leave ah, a like. Corporal, man of the hour. All right, so we're Sarge. gonna we're gonna head to uh damn these lights are super freaking bright. We're gonna head to the doctor right now. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't, like something's gonna happen to the doc in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a doc to lube you all up? How's the ear? <laughs> what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. Yo, this guy's hilarious, I'm fine. bro. I'm fine. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Oh, Lord. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, in Corpo no, St. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I, I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Hmm. He's pretty much a prisoner at this point. I mean, what type of life is that, right? All right. What kept me going? Drive to the location. How far are we? Oh, that's right there. I don't gotta drive anywhere, man. That's freaking Sarah's camp. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You. How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Oh, yeah, that's right. Get it. Get it. Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With D Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's I don't like that.
Right to the Wilson Pass with Sarah. Okay, I don't really like these people, man. I feel like they're trying to keep everybody captive in a way. What is that all about, anyway? Yeah. What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know? Considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like boat captain and president and you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beers and bikes. Now that you mention it, I think I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having, uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Seems oh like things God. are getting intense now. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Well, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know? So, watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. This reminds me of the flashbacks. Here, sit back, relax, and watch him drive. <laughs> right, here's the tunnel. You need your help 
to move that out of the way. Uh oh. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? <laughs> rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? <laughs> yeah, I can run into them. <laughs> I already killed them, girl. You gonna help move us or what? Yeah, sure. Your man's a savage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Your man's a savage. Sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I just had to. Come on, Sarah. Get that little booty in here. All right, so. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. Yeah, this no is. No wonder a... everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but. Yeah. Well, Sarah's on this side of the map now. She, I don't think she's been here for a long time. Let's just go back to Mike's camp and just stay hey, there. Hey, this looks familiar. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. Oh, this is her job, dude. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Jesus. Please wait. Oh, you guys are a little more high tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. Ari. Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> I think we're gonna learn a lot more about what the hell's going on here. Oh my god. Here. What is it? Nothing. It's There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. <laughs> it, it, it's up the and... irrigation system. It's all self automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said, the power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Oh. Huh. Well, this is getting interesting. Oh.
they're infected. That's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. You okay? Come on. All right. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. Man, what the? I feel like she's, she knows a lot more than what she's telling us. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know. I wasn't here. Thank God. <laughs> you wouldn't be alive. <laughs> Dude, that was... That's crazy. So many things being revealed. Perfectly safe facility. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. Okay, I'll follow you, Sarah. I knew these people. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Hmm. Man, I feel like the company that Sarah works for kind of has something to do with whether she knows it or not. Or at least they know more than what we think they know. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, Sarah. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh God, let us in! Well, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Oh my god. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Okay. Dude, there's a lot of food here. Here, this is it. I love corn so much. I just have to figure out how to get up there. I could freaking eat on, corn on. all day. Uh, I can shoot the latch. I'm gonna put on the suppressor just in case. Good shot. You done that before? Come on, yeah, girl. Once or twice. My name's Deacon. What do you think? I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <laughs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. 
Mother fuck you were saying. Yeah. If this world is stopping anything, trust no one, expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Alright, well, it's about to get crazy. Alert. Whatever you can, Alert. distract them. This is a lot of I'll see you when you're there. Shots have been fired. Security no, personnel to the maintenance building. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Hey, you! Look, whoever's shooting, just stop! I have clearance to be here! You can check the computer, my name is Seth! It's clear. I won't want us to crawl. Stand Come in and you will not be harmed. Where the heart of these speakers? We gotta get up those stairs and through the sky bridge. Alright, I'm with you. Alright, let me, um. Alright, just in case. Let me get these bodies looted because. Yeah. Just never know. The ammo right there and everything. Get out of here. All right, perfect. What is this? Hold still, goddammit! He's just running around. Now you're gonna pay. You can't mess with the PPSH, dude. Then I think Watch the Tom's is even more powerful. Let me hit! It's clear. The <laughs> police are on their way. <laughs> no cops here. Finally. Jesus. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Oh, God. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh, God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Alert. Alert. Hey, this time, we go in together. Called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Where'd you come from? <laughs> Shit! Snipers up there on the roof. I see him. These people are living good here, man. I feel like the bad guys coming here and intruding their peace. I mean, they were literally. I don't know. I mean, they weren't really hurting anybody. We just came here and just started <laughs> shooting this place up. Where's this other sniper at? Mission accomplished. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Yeah. Get through! Get through! Oh, come on. Jim, wait! That's multiple shots. Well, like you said, a lot's changed. Might be useful. I don't think I was supposed to hit him, actually. Yeah, on it. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Shut the hell up. Come on, Sarah. Sarah, sweetheart. What are you doing here, baby girl? You're supposed to open it's up clear. the door. Same here. Yeah, man, these people are living nice here, dude. Holy cow. Okay, I think she's just like taking a look around. Okay, it's clear. Okay, maybe We're this. Huh. Oh, I 
got some stuff here that are useful. All right, let's open up, Sarah. Come on, let's try the door. Let's do this. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. What? Fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh, yeah, you got one? Oh, well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Come on, Sarah. This way, right? Maybe straight through the back? There's a ledge out there. You should be able to climb up to the roof personnel that to the maintenance building. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <laughs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. <clears throat> what? Hmm. This is a pretty cool mission. I like it. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty fun. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm going to go max. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. I now work for the company. Police force is authorized. Okay, so maybe... Okay. Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Alright. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. So Wait what until now? Until I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> you kidding me? These days, that's all I do. <laughs> okay. Go. Hey. Use Ari to enter the atrium. Okay. Is it in here? Deacon Lee St. John, ID Trying to kill my wife. Alright. Let's do this. I stubby. Where's my little stubby? Ow! I'm supposed to use this. So be careful. Nine one one has Perfect. been called. Police are on their way. Stand down, and you will not be harmed. <sighs> Wait here. I'll bring it to you. All right. I guess Deacon's gonna get payback now from the rent a cop. Okay. Alert! Alert! This is a level four alarm. Multiple well, ammo. I like that when you do these sorts of missions, you always get ammo. You know, so it's always a plus. I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! 
We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <gasps> oh! Come on. Oh, what the, the fuck? Out of here. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> Yo, that was badass. Look at all the research they have here, man. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. Wait, what? Is this about the virus? Talking about. This is my fault. I, I don't understand. You're I should fault. have seen it when we first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman, he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what he mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed at I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Holy shit. I knew it all along. I felt like it has something hey, to do with that. Uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay. Um, it's just that there's a lot of food here. And I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. 
Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to be right there. Okay. Holy crap, man. Turn off lower electric fences. A lot of freaking crows. Power building. Yeah, that's uh, it's gotta be it. Burn a fire nest. Hey, what? How do you burn that? Where's the nest? Okay, so do I throw it here? Does that work? Hold on, punks. That does it. All right, where's that the other it. one? Burn you little bastards. Where's the other one at? The other one's right here. Ow! Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Okay, let me get some more resources here. I don't even have enough for more Molotovs, but... I'll get everything that we have here. This will work. What is this? Is this gas fuel? Okay. Come on. Open, open, open. Let's break the freaking glass if that doesn't work. Shit. Not so hard. I have a feeling this is not going to go well. That should do it. Hmm. Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was my <laughs> I found her. That's that is... awesome. <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. D? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. Be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. <clears throat> Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a- I don't think we'd hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this- Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right, we made it. I'm glad she did too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power, it's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work, uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um... Could you tell... You know what? Listen, I gotta go, Ricky. But you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. 
think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. It's clear. Did we stop somewhere due to the winter? Are you gonna come out and eat something? Damn, it'll be cold as shit. Oh snap! Out of soaking wet. Oh shit! It's getting naughty in here. Has, has, hasn't gotten any action in like two years, man. Look at that. Look at him. <laughs> this man. I never thought I'd get warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Deacon Sarah getting down in the middle of an apocalypse. It's getting naughty. Close your eyes. Just sit back and relax and enjoy the moment. Hey, I'd be doing the same thing. I don't blame him. Things, things are rough, man. Things are rough. You know they're gonna get some shit when they get back to the camp. <laughs> so now they feel probably a little bit more comfortable with one another. Yeah, that's right. Caress me, girl. <laughs> that's what they were missing, man. It was that broken bond there? Cause they, 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 there was no sex. But now they've been officially reunited. Oh my god. Oh, he 
saw them, dude. Oh, man. This is not good. Craft remote bomb. Oh, that's cool. Uh, you need something? You got something to say about it. Well, hold on. Oh, yeah. Corporal. Hey, man. I saw you ride out with the Wizard Island Witch the other day. How'd that go? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker, Sergeant? Oh, hey, no, I I didn't mean nothing. Just, just us grunts here, right? Shooting the shit? Yeah, we'll show some respect. Well, I can't... Yeah, yeah, like I said, I... I didn't mean nothing. Why well, I can't get a different bike here? Come on in. Take a look around. What? Well, that's weird. Okay then. Oh, well, that's awfully Saint weird. John, come in. This is Corporal Saint John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary. What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Hell, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Hey, Sarah? You're not supposed to be. Come here. in, Sarah. Oh, God damn it. All right, me and Doc Menace. Go, go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? Huh? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ. Slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. <laughs> Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Holy cow. What? Oh. Jesus. All right, guys. We're going to end the episode here. I think the next one should be very, very interesting. We did a great mission with Sarah. Uh, we had some sex. And uh, now there's been a murder. So thank you for watching. Again, if you want more episodes, all you have to do is leave a like. And as always, catch you on the next one.